So these are five reasons to buy the Next Dock Touch. A lot of this that I'm about to say goes for the previous two generations of Next Dock, but actually the touchscreen is quite compelling if you're gonna use it alongside DeX or any other kind of Android based operating system. So my name's Kit, this is Gorilla Physics, and we do talk about GCC and A-level physics, but I'm also interested in tech for professionals, especially for use in education. Now, if at any point you've got any questions about the device or about technology and education, then go for it in the comments below. So reason number one is if you regularly carry around a power bank, a keyboard, or a mouse for your laptop or to use with your phone, or even if you carry around a tablet or a small, not powerful laptop, then this can replace all of those things. Reason number two is if you're used to a dual screen setup, then carrying this around means that you've got a dual screen for your laptop wherever you are. And if you miss them when you're on your laptop, then just one HDMI cable or one USB-C cable, and you can have a second screen and all the extra real estate for your laptop. I especially find that when I'm doing video editing on my laptop, I miss having the second screen. Or whenever I'm trying to work as fast as possible, maybe sorting out file structures or working between documents, having that second screen is really useful. Third reason is if you're the type of person that buys a flagship phone, then you'll want to get more out of the really impressive specs that you get in these phones. This is the Samsung S20 Ultra, but if you've had anything from Note 8 onwards, then it has DeX mode built in. And so many more flagship phones are gonna come with these desktop modes actually built into the user interface. You have in your pocket something that outspecs most laptops. And this thing really will unleash the power of your mobile phone. The fourth reason is if you get frustrated moving between different ecosystems. If you're the type of person that thinks to yourself, oh, I wanted that document, but it's on my phone. I've been working on that on my PC. I've been working on that on my laptop. And where is that file as and when I need it? The more you can be using the computer in your pocket, the less you're gonna have those frustrating moments. And this would just mean that you have all of the benefits of having a keyboard and a touchscreen setup. It's a large 1080p touchscreen panel. It's a really nice screen and it's a really nice interface. And the last reason is if it fits in your tech ecosystem. So think about what you have already, and if this thing fits, then I would definitely recommend buying it. So if you've maybe got an aging laptop and you're considering whether to spend money on replacing it, or whether to put that money into maybe a desktop, then consider this as one option to solve your mobile computing issues. Perhaps if you prefer to carry around an iPad and you never really need a laptop, and you want to have a desktop PC, then maybe this doesn't work. Perhaps you need a fully specced PC laptop wherever you go, and you need to carry around that really high powered laptop because you need to do video editing on the go. Well, maybe this isn't the thing. But if you just need a laptop to type on and work on some documents and do some general web browsing, then actually maybe this is a really good option for you. I'd say if you're thinking about getting a low powered laptop like a Chromebook or any cheap inexpensive Windows machine, I'd say also look at this and consider putting that money into a better mobile phone. Thanks a lot for watching Gorilla Physics. This channel is all about GCC and A-level physics, but I'm also interested in technology for education and professionals. So hit the like button and make sure you subscribe because I'll be talking loads more about how technology can help you as a professional or a student. If you're interested in knowing more about the next Doc Touch, then here's my unboxing video and I'll be doing a full review coming soon.